least five people are dead, 18 others hurt at a shooting at a gay nightclub. Investigators in Colorado say they got a call for an active shooter just before midnight at Club Q in Colorado Springs. A suspect is in custody and being treated in an area hospital. The FBI is now helping with the investigation. The club issued a statement saying, quote, Club Q is devastated by the senseless act attack on our community. Our prayers and thoughts are with the, all victims and their families and friends. We thank the quick reaction of heroic customers that subdued the gunman and ended this hate attack. Police arrested the suspect and took him to a hospital. There were so many injured people. Police say that they had to transport some of them in police cars instead of ambulances was a little bit more of a timeline. So that initial call for service, that was at 1156 last night. The first officer dispatched a minute later. They arrived on the scene at 12. The suspect was detained by 1202. So all of that happened in a time span of just over five minutes. Of course, this is still something that has shaken this community to its core. It was everything. Club Q. It was welcoming. It was open. And what it means to Colorado Springs. I found myself here. Can be summed up in a word. This place was a home for a lot of people. A home where everyone was welcome. The love, the laughs, the people that you meet, it's gone. I was on the dance floor. I heard four to five shots ring out. Joshua Thurman hid in a dressing room last night and had to listen as a gunman turned his community into a crime scene. A part of me feels like it should have been me. That, that was taken instead of the five people. Police say five people were killed. More than two dozen others were hurt. At least two heroic people inside the club confronted and fought with the suspect and were able to stop, stop the suspect from continuing to kill and harm others. The people who stopped the suspect were not injured as far as police know. I think we're all in shock. Initial evidence and interviews indicate that the suspect entered Club, Club Q and immediately began shooting at people inside. The suspect has been identified as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich. Law enforcement officials briefed on the investigation Tell ABC News he is the same person arrested in a June 2021 bomb threat incident. At least two firearms were found at the scene. We are still working to identify the firearms and who they belong to, but I can confirm that the suspect used a long rifle during the shooting. Authorities praising the actions of some patrons. We know one or more patrons heroically intervened to subdue the suspect, and we praise those individuals who did so because their actions clearly saved lives. It was so scary. I heard shots, broken glass, bodies. Joshua Thurman says he was dancing when the shots rang out. It was, how, why? He says some of his friends were among those killed. This is the only LGBTQIA plus place in the entire city of Colorado Springs. What are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to go? How are we supposed to feel safe? in our environment when it just got shot up. That the suspect entered Club Q and immediately began shooting at people inside as he moved further into the club. While the suspect was inside of the club, at least two heroic people inside the club confronted and fought with the suspect and were able to stop, stop the suspect from continuing to kill and harm others. We owe them a great debt of thanks. The suspect has been identified as Anderson Lee Aldrich, a 22-year-old male. At least two firearms were found at the scene. We are still working to identify the firearms and who, and who they belong to, but I can confirm that the suspect used a long rifle during the shooting. Detectives are also looking to identify if there were any other individuals who assisted the suspect. The motive of the crime is part of the investigation and whether this was a hate crime is part of that investigation. I was on the dance floor and I heard shots. I heard four to five shots ring out. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was the music. There was either the music was so loud that we couldn't hear anybody scream for help or we just didn't hear anybody scream for help. Uh, so I thought it was the music. So I kept on enjoying myself. Um, and then I heard another set of shots ring out and I turned to my left and I saw the flash from the muzzle 
And when I saw that, I ran, and I ran to the dressing room uh, where the drag queens change and get ready for their performances. And there was, including me, there were two other people in there. We, I made them lock the doors, we closed and locked the doors, we got down on the ground and we cut off all the lights. We heard everything. We heard more of a third round of shots. Um, we heard the assailant be detained by, I think, I assume, employees of Club Q. Um, we heard the police come in. We heard yelling, um, shaking, crying, fearing for our lives. I'm thinking, like, at any second, this man could just bust through the door and kill us if he really wanted to. Bodies on the ground, blood, shattered glass, people dead. It was sad. It was scary. Our, our, our safe space is no longer our safe space, and we are a broken community and it it shouldn't we shouldn't have to come together after something like this it was a pretty normal night all things considered it you know got pretty busy um you know throughout the night um you know as people tend to come out later um and from my perspective i was just bartending making drinks um at the bar and then i noticed uh that there was like loud banging sounds. So I looked up and there were like three in a row. And then I saw someone and, and I recognize it's dark. It's really dark. It's a club, so you can't see well, but I saw like the outline of a gun in somebody's hand. But I, I couldn't make out anything, just a shadow. Um, I just, I just saw the gun and I think it might've had like a light on it like a scope light or so I don't know I, I'm not a big fan of guns but um I I just saw maybe like a, like a light or something on it because it's dark so I think it would make sense if they had the on there the gunshots that you heard uh were the gunshots happening quickly yeah it was back to back to back to back to back to back um I heard about maybe four or five um before it registered in my head what was going on um you know but like i i honest to god it when it first started i just thought someone was clapping like i just heard like clap clap and i looked up i'm like who is being dramatic right now and then i realized no one was being dramatic someone was being you know unhinged and and doing this insane shit sorry I got out and, and I, a few feet away, I saw someone um, lying on the ground and the, um, the, 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 the door from the dance floor of the patio is a glass door. Um, all that glass had been shattered. It was all over the ground. And I saw someone I knew um, lying there in that broken glass, having been shot in the neck. Um, and I went to, to approach them and they weren't uh, too, too vocally responsive. Um, so I wasn't sure what to do. My first thought for me, it, what I can't stop thinking about is the visuals of the evening of of uh, of the bodies, of the blood, of the broken glass, of the the carnage and the wreckage, and 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 seeing a safe place turned into a war zone. Uh, I can't get that that visual out of my head, and and it, I I'm familiar with the people harmed in this, injured in this, and. And to see, you know, it's it's one thing to see, you know, a, a, a crime scene, if you will, but it's another thing to see your friends or your coworkers or or, or people you know suffering and you don't know what to do. Um, the night of the Pulse shooting, I was at a Selena Gomez concert at the Amway Arena, um, which is is pretty close to the Pulse nightclub. Um, and I remember that, and that was that was a scary time. I mean, to be gay and to know that one of your safe places is being ambushed, you know, maliciously is is like it just breaks my heart. And it's and that's always since that happened, this has always been a fear in the back of my head. I I, I just feel like these incidents happen all the time. You know, it doesn't matter where. It, today it was at a gay club, but tomorrow it could be a freaking church or a Walmart. You know, it's just it's just a consistent pattern and. And I always hoped that I would never be somewhere where this would happen. But uh, unfortunately, today was the day that, you know, 
the stars align in a really twisted way. And I happened to be at that place at that time. And, you know, it, I, I just don't think I will go back there. I just don't think I could work there. I don't, I don't think I could visit there. I mean, after the events of tonight, it just makes, it turns a safe place into somewhere where you don't feel safe at all anymore.